Hello lovely people, this is day number 28 and today is a stretching day. Let's start here in a wide straddle position and you know this one already, we're going to scoop into one direction and you can slightly twist your foot here pointing the toes into the direction that you're scooping the air in and as we scoop place the left hip on left hand on your left hip and we scoop the air up as high as possible here and then rotate up and over and scoop and scoop and scoop and scoop Really make sure that you're pushing the hand as high as possible before it goes up and over so that you get a nice complete rotation in the shoulder joint. And then on the next one, maybe you want to take it a little bit further behind you here. And then scoop and behind you and scoop and behind you and scoop and behind you and maybe bend the knee a little bit more here. Make this a little bit more dynamic and scoop and scoop. Other side, same thing, right hand on right hip and then turn the left foot in and the right um, toes here a little bit into a diagonal as we scoop up and over and up and over. And really make sure the hand rises up high here with the shoulders still remaining quite square before you turn it up and over. And then take the hand a little bit further behind you before you scoop again behind. Okay, great. And then step the legs back together. Let's just swing the arms front and back into a low, in a, this is quite a low diagonal here. Front and back. So it's just basic, very basic shoulder mobility. Increasing your range. Loosening up the shoulder line after the very muscular work that we've been doing in the past weeks. And then if you had the right arm on top now, like me, swap so the left is on top. Still keep the arms here in a low diagonal. And now bend the elbows a bit so that you straighten here in front and at the back here you bend so you kind of pull again you pull the arms into like a diagonal here in front you cross diagonal in front diagonal just that and now as you um as you move to the back really think of pulling the shoulder blades together and then here you can allow them to come to the front a bit but here at the back really draw the shoulder blades together so that the shoulders also go backwards and into a diagonal. So you should feel this as a gentle stretch here just in front of the shoulders. And keep changing the arm that's on top, that crosses on top. And then just bring the hands a little bit higher here. So you cross a little bit more in front of your shoulder line. Very good. Let's keep this going just for a little bit longer. Okay, great. Then bring the elbow up behind you. Allow the shoulder to rotate behind you. Allow the whole arm to rotate behind you and rotate behind you. Rotate and rotate and rotate. Rotate, rotate, other side, same thing. Elbow goes up, arm rotates. Elbow goes up, arm rotates. 
Elbow goes up, arm rotates. Elbow goes up, arm rotates. Elbow goes up, up. Kneel up. Okay, great. Step the legs a little bit further apart. Let's twist to the back. Twist. Gentle twist. Don't force anything. Low diagonal. A little bit higher to horizontal. And into a higher diagonal. Into a very high diagonal. Okay, great. From here now, bend the knees and arms come to the front, shoulders come to the front, really curve the back. Take hold off the right wrist with uh, the left wrist with the right hand and allow the arm to be pulled across here, leaning into the back. And hold it. Other side, same thing. Take hold of the wrist. Pull the arm across. Lean into the back and hold it. Come out of the stretch. Interlock the fingers behind you. And then straighten the elbows. So before I do any kind of shoulder stretch, if I haven't been practicing handstands, I really like to do these um, mobility, shoulder mobility exercises so that my shoulders feel um, like there's blood circulation, they feel warm, the muscles have worked a little bit, and then I feel like I can get a lot deeper into, into my shoulder stretches. Allow the chest to come to the front, but the stomach still keeps pulling in towards the spine. And release. Very nice. Arm across the front. Hook the arm. Shoulder pushes down. Pull the arm towards you. So if you allow the shoulder to come up, you won't feel any stretch. You kind of have to sort of jam the arm here um, against the shoulder that is really pushed down and away from your ears. And release. Other side. Arm across the front. Hook pull towards you and this here the shoulder pulls away from the ear release step the legs a little bit wider up hand by your hip gently draw to the side the arm stays close to your ear elevate the shoulder to the ear rotate the armpit up towards the ceiling and release. Rise up tall to the side. Elevate the shoulder up to the ear. Armpit rotates up to the ceiling. Come out of the stretch. Let's do our shoulder opening stretch with the wall. Hands on the wall. Feet are hip width apart. And sink the shoulders low. Slightly elevate the shoulders up to the ears. Find length before you deepen the stretch. And come out of the stretch. And then let's just do five low squats here, stepping the legs into a straddle. Hands by your hips. Arm of one, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Standing with the feet hip width apart here. Slowly roll down. First the head, then the upper back. And bend the knees. Sink the hands low to the floor. Then bend the knees. Find a tabletop position for your upper body to rest on. If you want to, you can take hold of your elbows. Stay here and try to find release. Give the weight of your upper back into the legs. Hands on the floor. Come down to a low squat. And then come here. 
to a kneeling position and come to a seated position here and now you can have uh, you can have the legs like this sort of in a um, with the uh, soles of the feet, feet here uh, f uh, facing each other or you can sit cross-legged and if you are finding that very difficult then you can also sit here on your knees or even on a chair so the main thing is just that you can um, push into you can kind of reach the knee and this could also be your knee here as you are sitting on a stool or on it on a chair right it's because every, all we're going to do is now is gently push the knee down towards the floor and the opposite hand here the left one uh, has the fingers uh, pointing backwards into a diagonal so i push this knee down with my right hand and then i allow my right shoulder to come a little bit closer towards the left knee here creating just a gentle uh, twist in the spine so if you did this in a seated position you would be pushing into the opposite knee here and then finding a gentle rotation like this and then come up other side left hand pushes the left knee down and the shoulder comes a little bit closer to the right knee. Gentle twist. Come up and sit up very tall and tilt the head to the right. The left hand is flexed, pushes down to the floor. Sit up tall, tilt the head to the left, right hand flexes, pushes down to the floor. Come back up, chin to the chest, spine is very, very tall, add the weight of one hand, deepen the stretch across the neck. Make sure you don't slump into a round back, but you keep the spine very, very straight. Okay, come back up. Let's do our finger stretches. Starting with the index finger. And push the index finger into the palm of the opposite hand. And the middle finger. And ring finger, little finger thumb, change hands, index, middle, ring, pinky, thumb, handstand namaste, <laughs> spread the fingers, press the palms together and lower the wrists as much as possible, keep the shoulders down as well, keep pressing the fingers together. Come out of the stretch, dead fish, push with the opposite hand, gently flex the wrist, maybe you want to curl the fingers off the wrist that you are stretching just a little bit to add into the stretch, come out of the stretch, other hand, loose wrist. Push into the hand. Curl the fingers. Release. That's it. I am going to leave you with this. Again, I would encourage you to take a piece of paper and jot down a few lines about how this went for you what was new, what was surprising, what was challenging, maybe also an outlook on what you would like to do next because the next two days will be our last two days and um, maybe your goals have changed, um, maybe you want to be off onto new adventures of um, mobility or strength training 
um, or more movement or acrobatic skills. Um, uh, a whole month of training like this um, doesn't only change your body, it also changes your perspective on things. Um, so maybe just take 10-15 um, minutes to reflect on that and then I shall see you tomorrow for our second last class. Have a lovely day. <laughs>